These are the 11 most reliable used seven or eight passenger vehicles under $10,000. Eight SUVs and three crossovers. All reliability ratings come from carcomplaints.com and the top four vehicles on this list have the best possible rating from them. Each model has been given a pain rank rating. PainRank is a carcomplaints.com algorithm that uses complaint data from owners, relative complaints analysis, sales numbers, vehicle age, recall frequency, and NHTSA data to come up with a number representing how much pain a car inflicts on its owners. The lower the pain rank score, the less painful a vehicle is to own and consequently, the more reliable it is. Starting at number 11 is the 2012 Hyundai Veracruz crossover. It is the latest model on this list. The 2012 Veracruz can seat seven, with a third row that tumbles flat into the floor. It is available in a front wheel or all wheel drive configuration, with an original base MSRP of $28,345, or $30,245 respectively. The 2008 Veracruz is powered by an all-aluminum 3.8-liter V6 that delivers 250 horsepower and 257 pound-feet of torque and is connected to a six-speed automatic transmission. It gets a combined 18 miles per gallon. The 2012 Veracruz has two trim levels, GLS and Limited. The standard equipment list of a GLS includes 18-inch aluminum alloy wheels, a six-speaker AM-FM XM CD MP3 audio system with USB iPod auxiliary inputs, power driver's seat, fog lights, automatic headlamps, air conditioning, rear seat climate controls, steering wheel audio and cruise controls, power windows, locks, heated mirrors, and remote keyless entry. The Limited adds leather seating surfaces, proximity key, a 314-watt Infinity audio system with CD changer, power passenger seat, heated front and second row seats, tilt-in reverse side mirrors, power tilt telescopic steering wheel, power sunroof, 115 volt outlet, windshield wiper de-icer, and memory settings for the driver's seat, exterior mirrors, and steering wheel. The 2012 Hyundai Veracruz has a maximum towing capacity of 3,500 pounds. Moving up to number 10 is the 2010 Chevrolet Suburban full-size SUV. The 2010 Suburban can sit seven to nine, depending upon its configuration. It is available in a regular 1500 or heavy duty 2500 model, in a rear or four wheel drive configuration, with an original base MSRP of $40,635 or $43,480 respectively. The 2010 Suburban 1500 model has a 5.3 liter V8 engine that produces 320 horsepower and 335 pound feet of torque. The 2500 model has a 6.0 liter V8 rated at 352 horsepower and 382 pound feet of torque. Both engines are connected to a six speed automatic transmission. The 2010 Suburban gets a combined 17 miles per gallon. The 2010 Suburban has three trim levels, LS, LT, and LTZ, with three subdivisions of the LT level, 1LT, 2LT, and 3LT. Standard LS equipment includes 17-inch aluminum alloy wheels, daytime running lights, OnStar, side steps, split bench front seat, cloth upholstery, heated power mirrors, and remote keyless entry. The 1LT adds tri-zone automatic air conditioning, Bose nine-speaker audio, power adjustable pedals, remote start, ultrasonic rear park assist, and a heavy-duty rear locking differential. Additional equipment on the LTZ includes auto ride suspension, heated and cooled front row and heated second row seats, power release folding second row seats, a power lift gate, and 20-inch wheels. The 2010 Chevrolet Suburban has a maximum towing capacity of 9,600 pounds. At 
Number nine is the 2011 Subaru Tribeca Crossover. It is one of two Tribecas on this list. The 2011 Tribeca can seat seven, with a third row that tumbles flat into the floor. It comes in an all-wheel drive configuration with an original base MSRP of $32,495. The 2011 Tribeca is powered by a 3.6 liter Boxer 6 that delivers 256 horsepower and 247 pound-feet of torque and is connected to a five-speed automatic with a manual shift mode. It gets a combined 18 miles per gallon. The 2011 Tribeca has three trim levels, Premium, Limited, and Touring. The standard equipment list of a Premium includes 18-inch aluminum alloy wheels, Tri-Zone automatic climate control, a tilt, but not telescoping, steering wheel, heated power front seats, full power accessories, cruise control, a six-speaker CD MP3 sound system with an auxiliary input jack, a seven-inch display screen, and keyless entry. The Limited adds leather upholstery, vinyl for the third row, heated front seats, driver seat memory, Bluetooth, a 10-speaker Harman Kardon sound system with a six-CD changer and satellite radio, and additional interior ambient lighting for the console. The Touring will get you exclusive 18-inch wheels, a monotone exterior paint scheme, xenon headlamps, silver roof rails, a sunroof, and a backup camera with a small display in the auto-dimming rear-view mirror. The Touring adds HID headlights, an electrochromic rear-view mirror, roof rails, a backup camera, and a sunroof. The 2011 Subaru Tribeca has a maximum towing capacity of 2,000 pounds. At number 8 is the 2009 Ford Expedition full-size SUV. The 2009 Expedition can seat 5 to 8 depending upon its configuration. It is available in a rear or four-wheel drive configuration with an original base MSRP of $34,845 or $37,745 respectively. The 2009 Expedition is powered by a 5.4 liter V8 that delivers 310 horsepower and 365 pound-feet of torque and is connected to a six-speed automatic transmission with overdrive. It gets a combined 16 miles per gallon. The 2009 Expedition has four trim levels, XLT, Eddie Bauer, Limited, and King Ranch, and comes in two configurations, a standard length model and an extended wheelbase model, or EL, which gives it an additional 14.8 inches of overall length. The standard equipment list of an XLT includes 17-inch aluminum alloy wheels, running boards, roof rails, fog lights, capless refueling, power adjustable heated outside mirrors, a rear lift gate with flip up glass, a rear defroster wiper washer system, and a keyless entry keypad. The interior has cloth upholstery with front captain's chairs, driver's seat is six-way power adjustable, and a 40-20-40 split bench seat in the second row, a leather wrapped tilt steering wheel, front and rear air conditioning with rear controls, remote keyless entry, automatic headlights, alarm, an AM FM CD stereo with an auxiliary input jack and rear controls, auto dimming rear view mirror, cruise control and full power accessories. The Eddie Bauer adds 18 inch aluminum alloy wheels and protective cladding for the lower body panels on the exterior. The interior has leather upholstery, a power folding split third row seat, a 10-way power adjustable driver's seat with memory, a six-way power passenger seat, dual zone automatic climate control, a premium sound system with six disc CD changer, mirror mounted turn signals, and power adjustable pedals. The Limited adds 18 inch chrome wheels, heated and cooled front seats, 10 way power adjustable front passenger seat, power rear quarter windows, a backup camera with rear view mirror display, a rear parking sensor, rain sensing wipers, a power lift gate, and perforated leather. 
The King Ranch adds its own styled 18-inch chrome wheels, upgraded chaparral leather upholstery, King Ranch badging, and gold exterior accents. The leather also trims the center console lid, steering wheel, and door panels, while wood trim can be found on the center console, shifter handle, and instrument panel. The 2009 Ford Expedition has a maximum towing capacity of 9,200 pounds. Number seven is the 2010 Nissan Armada full-size SUV. The 2010 Armada can seat seven with a third row that folds flat into the floor. It is available in a rear or four-wheel drive configuration with an original base MSRP of $37,510 or $43,110 respectively. The 2010 Armada is powered by a 5.6-liter V8 that delivers 317 horsepower and 385 pound-feet of torque and is connected to a 5-speed automatic transmission with a tow-haul mode. It gets a combined 14 miles per gallon. The 2010 Armada has three trim levels, SE, Titanium, and Platinum. The standard equipment list of an SE includes 18-inch aluminum alloy wheels, dual-zone climate control, heated outside mirrors, 8-speaker stereo with 6-CD player and MP3 WMA capability, 8-way power driver's seat, 4-way manual passenger seat, power-adjustable pedals, split-bench reclining second-row seat, and 60-40 split-folding third-row seat. The titanium adds 20-inch machined finish wheels, fog lights, an 11-speaker Bose audio system, XM satellite radio, Bluetooth, rear view monitor, a power folding third row, and a tow package that includes self-leveling for the rear suspension, plus leather seats, a power passenger seat, and an intelligent key. The Platinum adds 20-inch chrome wheels, heated front seats and steering wheel memory for driver's seat and pedals, power rear lift gate, navigation with XM nav traffic, real-time traffic information, 9.3 gigabyte music box hard drive, XM satellite radio, power folding mirrors with turn signal repeaters and puddle lamps, and front sonar. The 2010 Nissan Armada has a maximum towing capacity of 9,100 pounds. At number six is the 2008 Lincoln Navigator full-size SUV. It is one of two Navigators on this list. The 2008 Navigator can seat seven with a third row that folds flat into the floor. It is available in a rear or four-wheel drive configuration with an original base MSRP of $48,745 or $51,645 respectively. The 2008 Navigator is powered by a 5.4-liter V8 that delivers 300 horsepower and 365 pound-feet of torque and is connected to a six-speed automatic transmission. It gets a combined 14 miles per gallon. The 2008 Navigator has two trim levels, Standard and L. Standard features include 18-inch aluminum alloy wheels, leather upholstery, and either dark ebony or lighter ani gray wood trim, two second row captain's chairs, and a power fold 60-40 split third row seat are also standard, though a three-place second row split bench seat was available at no charge. Also standard are front seats with heating and cooling, a power folding third row seat, a power lift gate, a THX2 certified audio system, 600 watt AM FM stereo with an MP3 compatible six disc in-dash CD changer, 14 speakers and an auxiliary input jack, three zone automatic climate control with rear seat fan and controls, leather and wood steering wheel with audio and climate controls, 10 way adjustable front seats, power adjustable pedals, a keyless entry keypad, a remote keyless entry, front seat position memory, power deploying running boards, roof rack, automatic HID headlights, power heated and folding outside mirrors, fog lamps, and power rear quarter windows. The L is 14.7 inches longer than the standard trim, 
passenger accommodations are essentially the same, but the L provides an additional 25 cubic feet of cargo volume behind the third seat and has a rear cargo management system. The 2008 Lincoln Navigator has a maximum towing capacity of 6,000 pounds. Number five is the 2003 Toyota Land Cruiser full-size SUV. It is one of two Land Cruisers on this list, and they are the two oldest models on this list due to their minimal depreciation. The 2003 Land Cruiser can seat eight with a third row that folds away to the sides. It comes with a full-time four-wheel drive system with an original base MSRP of $53,955. The 2003 Land Cruiser is powered by a 4.7 liter V8 that delivers 230 horsepower and 320 pound-feet of torque and is connected to a 5-speed automatic transmission with overdrive. It gets a combined 15 miles per gallon. The 2003 Land Cruiser has 17-inch aluminum alloy wheels. ABS and driveline traction control, fog lights, heated mirrors, 10-way driver and 8-way front passenger power adjustable heated leather trimmed seats, a reclining leather trimmed 60-40 split fold-down second row bench seat, a power sunroof, automatic climate control, rear air conditioning with separate controls, a 50-50 split third row bench seat, all power accessories, a remote keyless entry, a 300-watt JBL AM-FM ETR cassette CD with 6-disc in-dash changer, 7 speakers, power rear quarter windows, and a Homelink universal remote system. The 2003 Toyota Land Cruiser has a maximum towing capacity of 6,500 pounds. Number four is the 2009 Lincoln Navigator full-size SUV. It is the second Navigator on this list and first among four vehicles with the highest reliability rating given by carcomplaints.com. Like the 2008 Navigator, the 2009 model can seat seven or eight with a third row that folds flat into the floor. Also like the 2008, the 2009 Navigator is available in a rear or four-wheel drive configuration with an original base MSRP of $53,120 or $56,020 respectively. The 2009 Navigator is powered by a 5.4 liter V8 that delivers 310 horsepower and 365 pound-feet of torque and is connected to a six-speed automatic transmission. It gets a combined 17 miles per gallon. Since a 2007 redesign, Lincoln has changed little about the Navigator. The 2009 model sees only minor additions from the previous two years. New standard features include front park assist, Lincoln Sync, a capless fuel system, rain sensing wipers, heated second row seats, and a rear view camera system. Refer back to the 2008 model for other features. In the front, the seats are 10-way power adjustable with adjustable pedals. Leather and wood accents are found throughout the cabin. Cargo space increases to 54.5 cubic feet when the standard power folding third row seats are flipped down. The second row also folds flat. With both rows down, the Navigator has 103.3 cubic feet of cargo space. Like its predecessor, the 2009 Lincoln Navigator has a maximum towing capacity of 6,000 pounds. At number three is the 2010 Subaru Tribeca Crossover. It is the second Tribeca on this list and second among four vehicles with the highest reliability rating given by carcomplaints.com. The 2010 Tribeca can seat seven with a third row that tumbles flat into the floor. It comes in an all-wheel drive configuration with an original base MSRP of $30,495. The 2010 Tribeca has the same engine as the 2011 model, as well as the same trim level and nearly the same features. Like the 2011 Tribeca, the 2010 model has only 8.3 cubic feet of storage behind
behind the third row. With both the second and third row folded flat, it has 74.4 cubic feet of cargo space. Like its successor, the 2010 Subaru Tribeca has a maximum towing capacity of 2,000 pounds. Number two is the 2002 Toyota Land Cruiser full-size SUV. It is the second Land Cruiser on this list and third among four vehicles with the highest reliability rating given by carcomplaints.com. The 2002 Land Cruiser can seat eight with a third row that folds away to the sides. It comes with a full-time four-wheel drive system with an original base MSRP of $52,595. The 2002 Land Cruiser is powered by a 4.7 liter V8 that delivers 230 horsepower and 320 pound-feet of torque and is connected to a four-speed automatic transmission with overdrive. It gets a combined 14 miles per gallon. The 2002 Land Cruiser has 16-inch aluminum alloy wheels. Refer to the 2003 model for other features of the 2002 Land Cruiser as they are nearly the same. The 2002 Toyota Land Cruiser has a maximum towing capacity of 6,500 pounds. At the top of our list for most reliable seven or eight passenger vehicles under $10,000 is the 2010 Volvo XC90 midsize SUV. It is the fourth among four vehicles on this list with the highest reliability rating given by carcomplaints.com and is typically the cheapest of those four. The 2010 XC90 can seat seven with a third row that tumbles flat into the floor. It is available in a front wheel or all wheel drive configuration with an original base MSRP of $37,700 or $39,700 respectively. The 2010 XC90 comes with either a 3.2 liter inline six that delivers 235 horsepower and 236 pound-feet of torque, or a 4.4 liter V8 that delivers 311 horsepower and 325 pound-feet of torque. All-wheel drive is standard on the V8 and was an option with the 6. Both engines are connected to a 6-speed automatic transmission with manual shift functionality. The 2010 XC90 gets a combined 17 miles per gallon. The 2010 XC90 has three variants, 3.2, 3.2R design, and V8 all-wheel drive. The 3.2 comes with 18-inch aluminum alloy wheels, leather upholstery, dual-zone automatic climate control, a sunroof, an eight-way power driver's seat with memory, a power passenger seat, power door locks, power heated mirrors, fog lights, a 160-watt AM-FM CD MP3 radio with an auxiliary jack, eight speakers, cruise control, a trip computer, an auto-dimming interior mirror, real wood interior trim, a third row seat, which comes with its own auxiliary climate control, and an integrated center booster cushion for the second row. The 3.2R design comes with 19-inch aluminum alloy wheels and adds a tighter self-leveling suspension speed-sensitive power steering, a unique grille and silver rather than the standard black roof rails. Inside is a three-spoke sports steering wheel, Volvo's watch dial instruments, aluminum inlays, and other visual touches. The V8 all-wheel drive comes with 18-inch aluminum alloy wheels, Sapelli wood trim for the instrument panel, steering wheel, and shift knob a leather steering wheel, heated front seats, headlight washers, rain-sensing wipers, and humidity sensor with an interior air quality system. Cargo volume behind the third row is 11.1 .1 cubic feet. The rear seats fold down, as does the front passenger seat. With all seats stowed, maximum cargo volume measures 85.1 cubic feet. The 2010 Volvo XC90 has a maximum towing capacity of 5,000 pounds. Thank you.